tonight at 11, the Sumter County Church that was vandalized earlier this month is now dealing with trespassers. Sumter deputies say three people were charged with trespassing at Salem Black River Presbyterian Church. Deputies say it happened Friday night, but the church was not damaged. This is the same church that deputies say a group of Shaw Air Force Base personnel are accused of desecrating with satanic symbols. Those four airmen went before judge on Friday. President Donald Trump will be in South Carolina tomorrow. Trump is headed to the Palmetto State to return a favor to Governor Henry McMaster, one of his first and biggest supporters. McMaster's campaign for governor says the president will attend a $250 a person fundraiser and reception at 630 at a Greenville hotel. And on Tuesday, Democratic candidate for Governor James Smith will formally announce his run for governor in 2018. The event will be held at 701 Whaley in downtown Columbia. Smith announced on social media last Thursday that he was putting his name in the race. One other Democrat, Phil Noble, a Charleston businessman, has also announced his candidacy. Governor Henry McMaster, Catherine Templeton, Lieutenant Governor Kevin Bryant, and former Lieutenant Governor Yancey McGill are all running for the Republican nomination. All right, well, the first full weekend of the State Fair wrapped up earlier tonight, and the Midway was packed. The fair runs through next Sunday, and plenty of fairgoers took advantage of today's beautiful weather to check it all out. It's bigger than the county fair, so I'm just taken by all of the vendors and all of the rides. The drop I like the swing. The Himalaya. The swing. The high swing. And the roller coasters. Honestly, I like getting out, hanging out with her a little bit, uh, getting to hang out and go on the rides, honestly, yeah. I look at the rides, but I don't ride. <laughs> <laughs> Happy State Fair! Looks like a good time out there, and you can join us for a good time. Yeah, ABC Columbia will be at the fair. We're going to be broadcasting our 6 p.m. news each night this week, so stop by and see us. We'll be right at the front gate near the Ellison Building. And when you head inside to the Ellison Building, check out this display. Yeah, it's full of air. Well, 10,000 balloons, actually. They're going to greet you there. Look at the little red balloon house. It features work of two balloon artists who look like they have been working on that for a while. Well, we are moving on from the fair to polka. Yeah, you heard it there, polka. Lots of dancing, bratwurst, sauerkraut. It was the sounds and the taste of Germany. They were alive today here in the Midlands. Oktoberfest Columbia took place at Incarnation Lutheran Church and plenty of folks headed out to enjoy the festival. It brings out the whole community. We all enjoy ourselves. Everybody can come and relax and have a beer in the sunshine, listen to some oompa music. So we, we really, I enjoy the hospitality of, of helping everybody have a good time. And it looks like they all did have a good time. Well, coming up next here on ABC Columbia, we've got the latest on the California wildfires. Some new hope tonight for the devastation, which has left nearly 40 dead. That story next, live from Maine and Gervais.